Hello friends. In this video, we will learn another interesting chapter of geography, motions of the earth. Let's start. In previous chapters we learn about axes, longitudes and latitudes. The imaginary vertical line is called as axis. The axis is tilted at an angle of 66 and a half with the plane of the earth's orbit. The tilt is called as inclination of the earth's axis. Due to this inclination we have impact on climate of earth which mainly. In summer, the days are longer and in winter nights are longer. This is earth position on 21st June where part of earth facing sun is having day and opposite side is having night. North pole is having six month days light. The number of hours get reduced from north pole to south pole. On this day, north pole is having six month daylight and south pole is having six months night twilight. On 22nd December, Southern Hemisphere is inclined towards the Sun. The Sun's rays fall vertically on the Tropic of Capricorn, so it is summer in Southern Hemisphere. On other hand, the Northern Hemisphere is turned away from the Sun and thus received slanting rays. Days are shorter hence, it is winter. On this day, North Pole is having 6 month night twilight and South Pole is having 6 months day. There are two factors which results in the occurrence of different seasons in different times of the years first is, the revolution of the earth and second is, the inclination of the earth's axis at a fixed angle and direction. This situation of earth on 21st June, the northern hemisphere is inclined towards the sun, the sun's rays fall vertically on the tropic of cancer. Since the rays of the sun are direct and daylight is for longer hours, it is summer in the northern hemisphere. 21st June is the longest the day and the shortest night of the years in the Northern Hemisphere. In the Southern Hemisphere the conditions are just the opposite. The region is turned away from the sun and thus received slanting rays. Daylights is for shorter hours. Hence it is winter here. On this 21st mark, the sun shines vertically over the equator. Therefore all the places on the earth have equal days and nights. The Northern Hemisphere has spring while the Southern Hemisphere has autumn. Viewer, our team is putting efforts in bring such content to you. We require your small support in order bring more such useful content. Please like videos and subscribe our channel which motivate us to create more such videos. On 21st December, situation is complete opposite of 21st June. On 23rd September, sun shines vertically over the equator, causing equal days and nights all over the earth. At same time the northern hemisphere has autumn while the southern hemisphere has spring. The two days, 21st March and 23rd September are called equinoxes. This figure will help you to understand the occurrence of seasons. Thanks for watching. Visit our channel now for your better understanding. Please do like, 
share and subscribe our channel. Viewer, our team is putting efforts to bring this content to you. We require your small support in order bring such useful content. Please do like video and subscribe our channel which motivate us to create more such videos.